All right, welcome to Scribbler. Um, Scribbler is located at scribbler.com. It is an online collaborative whiteboard uh, that many users can join and they can all use the same space to draw and to react to objects that are on the screen. Uh, to get started with Scribbler, um, if you're on the home page, you can click on the free demo if you want. Um, I'm just going to show you how to jump right in and get started. Click on sign up for free. It asks you for the basic information, first name, last name, email address. Uh, you see I've already signed up um, under Teacher Tech Vids. Uh, one feature I did want to point out here is at the bottom you can put in your Skype username. Uh, this allows you whenever you're in Scribbler, if other people have Skype, you can easily connect to them through Skype and also get video uh, right inside the whiteboard. Um, so that's a cool feature. So if you've got a Skype username, you can throw it in there. When you hit submit, it sends you an email. I just want to flip over and show you what that looks like. Um, it's going to be info, scribbler.com, account and activation. You click on the link and it gets you started. All right, uh, first thing you do in Scribbler is to really get started, you got to create a room. Click on create a room, give it a name. I'm going to call mine test room 2. And then there's some options here. You can click here to allow invites. That allows the people that are in there to uh, invite other users. I usually turn that on, allow embedding. Um, I usually turn that on. I usually do not turn on allow room locking. Um, I don't want my students to lock up the rooms. I uh, do usually make it public. Um, if you want it private, you can. And this one, I do want to make sure that you, you see, you want to click on this one uh, to make sure that you promote the users. So when your students get into the room, uh, they can actually change the uh, room and add things to it. So that's the settings that I use. And then you click on create this room. And once you've created it, you can visit the room. Scribbler will get started, and you'll have your blank space to work with. And that's it. That's how you get started using Scribbler. The next video, we'll kind of go through some of the basics that are here on the screen.